to do a get ready with me type of video. I haven't done makeup tutorials on this channel and I want to do a lot more makeup videos so I figured I'd just jump right in and start one. I just woke up maybe an hour and a half ago so this is my face with absolutely no makeup on. This is a t-shirt that I slept in so I figured I would just start this video and start putting some makeup on. I don't know what kind of makeup I want to do today, probably just something really simple. So first thing I'm going to do is just take my wet beauty blender. I already put on my skincare, moisturizer, daytime stuff so I'm just going to start off with my beauty blender and the foundation I'm currently using is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the color Light Medium Sand and I really love this foundation because it's more of a yellow toned color so what I really do is just squeeze it on my face I do like two whisker things and a line on my chin and from there I just blend it out and what I love about the beauty blender is that it makes blending out your makeup so so easy it's like amazing but I mean if you are in the beauty game at all you already know about this the Beauty Blender has been around for years and it's just the best foundation applying thing ever. So as you can see, oh wow, I already got foundation in my hair. I think this is why I never do makeup videos because every time I do makeup on camera, something happens. <laughs> yep. This is the real deal here, guys. I'm not one of those makeup gurus with like a million subs this is like what really hap what really goes on getting foundation in your hair first thing oh yeah so <laughs> now that my skin wow my skin is looking really really pale on camera but that's okay so next thing i'm going to do is actually browse so that i look a little bit more presentable i'm taking my nyx micro brow pencil and this is in the shade blonde I really don't like this pencil because it's super skinny and it breaks a lot so I really don't like it but I'm just using it so I can use it up and get rid of it. My other brow pencil that I like a lot better than this one is the Maybelline Brow Duo I think. It has like a powder end and then like a brush end. I like that one a lot more than this one. So I'm just gonna fill in the brow with that already can see a huge difference there and this is in the shade blonde I mean it looks very brown but I mean I guess you couldn't have a brow pencil that was like actually like this kind of color because you wouldn't see it at all so I'm just going to put that in my brows and I have a straight brow hair all right it's not going anywhere now when you talk on camera you guys you literally have to be 10 times li li livelier than you are in person because when you know you could be talking and filming a video and you think you sound you know great and lively and then when you play it back you sound like a dull cassette player or something it's so weird like the things that you um, the things that are on camera are so different than in real life it really is like photos, just videos, just anything. Anything you do for the camera has to be amplified like 10 times than it is in real life. And that is the truth. Oh, I didn't even say what I was using. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in Auburn. And I just used that on top of the brow pencil because I wanted to make it more fuller looking. Because with that pencil, I don't know, I just don't like that pencil at all. I don't know why it's so hyped on YouTube. I really think it's overhyped. Before I put this on my face again, this is the Naked Skin Light Diffusing Peptide Infused Paraben Free Concealer. This is a weightless complete coverage concealer and this is in the shade Light Neutral. I am Asian so I need something yellow toned, okay? Most drugstore, even some high-end foundations are really pink and us Asians, we need something yellow. Because if you compare this foundation to my arm, you can see it matches. But if I were to use like a L'Oreal brand or something, most likely it would be too pink. So I'll just do a thin line of my nose like that. And then that is what I do. 
again same beauty blender because who has time to go run to the bathroom wet a different sponge or wash the same one use it again i just feel like there's so much stuff that um beauty gurus don't talk about that you know they try to make makeup seem so easy and so like you know everything's all ready all the time but no you guys if i were to use a different beauty blender i would have to pause the video and just go to the bathroom and wet it again so as you can see this is how much product ends up on the beauty blender so now my skin looks absolutely flawless i am going to do my favorite thing in the universe with makeup and it is contouring this is my contour kit by Anastasia everyone knows about this already this is the light to medium and this is what it looks like mine I don't know I guess you can't tell that I use it a lot but I use this every single day the bottom three and I don't have any rhyme or reason to this I normally would use the middle color but I have a pet peeve where if I only use this color and this color is gonna hit pan and then the other two aren't gonna be used so what I actually do is I just go into all three like that and then just go at it so my my nose is small and my eyebrows are like close together so I actually connect my the top of my nose bridge to um, my nose. So again just dip the three colors and then I just sculpt out my nose like this. Holy cow what a difference look at this oh yes honestly I didn't always do this until maybe a year ago and ever since I can't go one day without it because it just looks so good So as you can see so if you rewind the video about like maybe 45 seconds ago It was like my nose was there, but now it's like BAM damn this shit is snatched Oh, and then I also take another brush. These are actually bare minerals mineral, mineral, Minerals brushes that came in like this holiday set that my boyfriend's aunt got for me a while ago and I still use them. If you want, you can blend out your nose contour a little bit, but I just lightly brush it. I don't want the contour to go away, so I just leave it. And then I still use the same exact contour kits, taking my Sonia Kashuk brush. You just go up and down, and the thing about doing your um, cheek contour is that if you brush it too hard, it actually knocks away some of the foundation you previously applied. So that's why I like to go really, really light with this. And my skin is so much better than it used to be a few years ago. Jesus Christ. So that's what my skin looks like now that I have my contour. Oh my god. Now I have some life to my face. I never ever use blush. It's just I just don't like how it looks. Um, Actually, I think I want to go in a little bit more because... Like I said earlier, everything you do on camera needs to be 10 times amplified than it is in real life. So normally I would, I would have stopped there, but on camera I feel like you can't see the contour until like right now. We are going to set the skin and I'm going to use my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I clip my hair because my bangs always get in the way of my makeup, but... I'm going to have to clip it up again and then I just do a spray and then um, I spray it again after I do my eye and lip makeup. So I just shake it up because everybody does this. Mm. Oh yes, that feels great. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to let it dry for like 15 seconds and then I'll be right back. So now that I'm all set, my makeup ain't going nowhere. I think I'm just gonna do some mascara today because I'm lazy. This is the Double Extend uh, Mascara by L'Oreal. It's the tubing one and this is like my favorite one because this mascara comes out in little tubes. It's really easy to remove. I just rhymed. I'm so awesome. So <laughs> you just put the white base on first and then after that you go over with the black side which is this the dark side and then you just go over like this oh yes okay so that is currently what it looks like with just mascara Let's try to as close to a close up. 
Okay, so that is currently what my eyes look like with just mascara. I didn't do any eyeshadow or eyeliner. I'll, I'll do that in another video, but today I just really wanted to keep it simple since I'm, I don't really have any crazy plans. I'm just going to run a few errands, so I just want to keep my makeup really simple today. What should I call this video, guys? Like a chatty get ready with me errands day or lazy day. I feel like every day is a lazy day. <laughs> um, anyway, so not for the fun part. I'm going to do highlighter. This is my Becca uh, Pressed Powder in Pearl. And oh my god, you guys, look at this color. It's like a stark white highlight. I feel like this gets no attention on YouTube, and I don't know why, because everyone talks about like Champagne Pop or Opal, and yeah, those are nice colors, but this is just a beautiful stark white, and I love that. I'm a very, like, I don't know, I like statement things, and I feel like those colors are too typical. Get you a color like this. It's a lot more fun. So I'm just going to take this and just highlight with a little brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to use it to highlight the tip of my cupid's bow. Look how mm, pigment this is. I just dipped it in like really lightly and like so much is on the brush already. So I just highlight. Hold on, let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. So I just highlight the cupid's bow like this. And that is it. I love doing this now. It's just, it makes it stand out. And then I guess I could put a little bit on the brow bone today. Why not? Just for this video. And then where else do you highlight your cheekbones? The nose. I don't hide, I never highlight my nose because my, I, my skin is naturally oily. So if I did that, it would just be like too oily. I'm just going to take the lightest amount and just highlight my brow bone. And, oh, the other reason I don't highlight my cheeks is because I don't have a good brush to do so. Okay, so now that I have that on, highlight on, I'm going to use one of these. So I think I'm going to take a lip liner first. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take my Lumiere Lip Pencil by ColourPop. And then just line. And I'm going to take my Stila Liquid Lip in the color Bossy. That's B A C I. I'm going to take that and then put it on top. Oh, I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now that I am basically done with my makeup, I'm just going to give it another quick spray with my setting spray. Mmm, yes. Okay, so I am done with my face makeup for today. I know it's super simple. I feel like if you wanted to just be lazy for a day and just put on mascara and put on a, like a little lip color, that's fine. I do this a lot actually. A lot of times I don't go out with like a lot of makeup because I don't know. I just If I'm not working or I don't have like a car show to go to, then I just look like this most of the time and I like it. Alright, so we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you think I should do more makeup videos, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's about it. This is actually a simple cardigan see-through sweater that I got from China. As you can see, you need to wear like a shirt underneath it. I just have a bra, but I'm probably going to put a tank top underneath it later. I'm just being super, super lazy right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.